Hello and welcome to today's episode of David Photography. Today we're going to go down to the quay and do some street photography. What we're going to do is we're just going to set the camera up with one setting to do the whole lot and see what results we can get. Once again, we're just taking the camera and the 14 to 44 millimeter lens on the Olympus. From this, we're just going to walk. Now, the other thing that we've done is we have turned off the shutdown function on the Olympus so it doesn't switch itself off after a time period. This is important because you don't want to get to a play bit and go. I can get this picture and I have to turn the camera back on and wait for it to come on. So all I did was just carry the camera in my hand, walk, take picture, put the camera down at my side and do it quickly. So we are relying on how fast the camera can focus and we are fixed to the settings set at the start to take all the photos. So, let's run the video of me approaching the quayside, which is in Newcastle upon Tyne, so it's easy to find on a Sunday. If you take it that parking and going past the quayside, you can't do. You have to go into town and come back out because you can't drive on the road on the quayside before and after the quayside opens. It doesn't open the road back till six o'clock at night. So if you have to come through Newcastle and go onto the quayside, you can't go until after six o'clock. So here's the video. And after that, we'll have a look at some of the pictures that were taken. Once again, shot in RAW and JPEG no editing let's see what results we get and let's see how easy we can make doing street photography and not standing around having to do settings and everything like that so we're going to keep it simple and see what the results are so enjoy the video right we are now on the key side these boats don't the key on Sundays. This is the walk bridge, which opens at 12 o'clock to let one of those boats go up the river. We're currently beside this tower. has a number of art items on. What I need to do is also work. The reason why all these people are out is because it's Sunday and the key is on with stalls.
holding this camera I'm not using any equipment to see how steady the shot will be. As you can see it gets quite busy. So let's see what photographs we can get here. Okay, so we are just walking along the quayside and taking pictures. What I'm just going to show you is I'm just going to show you the raw files because they include more other things within them and the JPEGs have zoomed in and knocked off bits of the uh, bits of the picture. So, all the filters were taken with the same settings, okay, the camera was set to these and from these all the pictures came and as I said the camera was not allowed to switch itself off, it was set to stay on and the camera focused only when it was told to so therefore the battery life with it just staying on was fine so this is a man waiting for a customer at the hot dog stand Don't forget this is dinner time so we do end up with quite a lot of bright light reflections on items but this is getting a picture of a woman paying now he has the smoke so it may look a bit misty and hazy but he is cooking sausages so that we have the mist as well as the, the sunlight of that. And take the sun was coming direct from this direction. So therefore you get a lot of light on the other side of the face. A man making coffee. sweet stall this is to show that we're actually on the quayside that is the swing bridge and the high level as you see how much light is actually on his face and that these other side is in darkness you can see the direction of the sun the key side that now has lots of uh, food vendors from all over the the world type foods so this is the cobble part here that's right down at the bottom of the quayside near to the bridge and as you see 
we continued taking some other buildings which are along the other side all at the same setting no changing high level bridge swing bridge and this is from gates side looking back you've seen your castles castle there this is technically standing on the gated side on the swing bridge and that's a, a portrait one and that's on gated side pointing towards the walk bridge which opens at 12 o'clock to let a boat go up which does a small short cruise of the Tyne and then comes back and the bridge opens again to let it go past so stops about here and runs all the way up here in the past there used to be a lot more clothes and other type of stalls right now they sell quite more expensive items now more artisans cheeses homemade breads more specialised bath salts and stuff and that's back to a picture that I took to start off with last week so as you see setting one just letting one setting do all the pictures you do get a decent amount of photos which you can get away with you know they are sharp enough they're not blurred I haven't deleted any pictures off you have the effects of the Sun coming through you have effects of smoke coming off the fires you have all of that you have people you have people spending their day on the quayside on a Sunday he said starts in the morning, normally closes about 2 o'clock, although some stalls may go away at 1. The parking, it's best to park further away. And there's a place called The Hub, which is a cycling bit, which is along the quayside. They have parking there and walk back. But there you go. So hope you enjoyed this quick look at a quick bit of street photography using one setting with the camera just lift it up take the shot done nobody said anything while I, while I did this because I was so quick I didn't stand and point the camera at somebody and wait until they did something it was just camera up to the eye take the picture done camera down continue walking and nobody said anything so as a start to make you feel more comfortable that not everyone is going to say something to you when you've gone out and took a picture on the street this is quite an easy way to do it one setting no messing about you're good to go so hope you like this I hope I see you on the yeah, you'll come and see the next video please like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.